One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Welcome back, everybody, to You and Me and Her, a love story. This is just the first time that the, I guess, opening of the game, the main menu screen is shown, so I'm just kind of looking at it. There's the phone. Call God. This is another thing I noticed. If you click on it, you can lock it. It's probably got some level of significance, but I don't know. I'm too stupid for that. And he was back at it. Lying in bed, I stared at my phone. The God phone? Lonely little oi, but they nary a friend to her name. Ah, just got you. Don't even know what friends are. Maybe this is fate. I'd at least like her to have someone she could chat with at school in the morning. Admittedly, maybe I should just mind my own business, but I can't help myself. I'm also not going by a guide, by the way. I'm just kind of picking whatever I want. Come to think of it, I still haven't received that email I tried to send myself from her phone. I sent a few her way after school, but no dice. As an experiment, I pressed the call button. She's not big enough. What a shame. Is her phone really not getting any service at all? I could picture her standing up there on the roof over the stairs. It's painfully ironic that the self-styled transceiver girl is the only one not picking up any signal. Her phone's not picking up the signal, to be fair. In her defense. The same old classer and the same old chatter, and there sits Oi. Or Owie. Mm -hmm. I think. Boop boop. <laughs> Keeping on with her thing. Staring into space at her desk as per usual. She looks pretty bored. Does she still not have service? At this point, I'm starting to think maybe her phone is broken. Shinji! Shinji! Chotto! Hi. Put him in the middle of... Tanum, in the middle of nothing. Okay? You're in the middle of monologuing to yourself. Fine, fine. Luckily, I head to my seat. What is it? Coming to me? Please. What do you have to be worried about? Sorry. That serious? Okay. Go on. Here's where opens his bag to show me a pair of panties. Uh, are they? You could just go down into a store and buy them yourself if you really wanted them. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. you steal those? Yeah, you stole them. Finding them doesn't make them yours. You found them. Okay. What? You said there's only four people in your family, right? Do you, do you have an older sister? A younger sister, maybe? Nothing. Nada de eso, compadre. Okay, then what do you have? I don't want to know. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Life sounds tough. With me, you can rival the classroom roars to life. She really is a star of the show. Ah, 
Hitoru gazes at her enraptured. Here we go again. The same scene that plays out every morning. Or so I thought. Hi. Oh, what you got? This time Aoi jumps to her feet, hand in the air, her eyes on Miyuki. Oh, God. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. That photo is probably still on Aoi's phone. She hangs her head. Okay. Our classmates are watching this interaction with mild puzzlement. I think the confusion Miyuki smiles. A favor, eh? What could this woman possibly want? Aoi to Miyuki, tomodachi ni naru no. Dame na no? Nani itteru no? Oof. Miyuki puts on her most dazzling smile. Watashi tachi, classmate desho? Oh, there you go. Saisho kara, rippa na tomodachi yo. Ah, yeah, the first time you've ever had like a public conversation with this woman, and no, 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 don't lie. あの、アドレス交換。ごめんなさい。今時間がないから。ふ、シャイダウン。フェイクフレンド。後でね。塗る。ミキ、クイックリンドコンバーセーションスマイルアンドフリンチングモメントレイトクラスメンスバックトゥ
だから待つの<笑>勝手にしなさい The base of that slung over her shoulder, Miyuki leaves the glass, not a second glance. Man, it's raining. I was busy actually doing my homework in the library for a change, so I hadn't noticed until just now. There are no lights in the old gymnasium building where the theater club rehearsals are held. They must have all gone home for the day. Beneath my trusty umbrella, I head out into the chilly autumn rain and make my way to the school gates. She's just waiting out in the rain? So it's about a lone figure near the campus gate, no umbrellas to be seen. Oi. Oi sits perfectly still as the rain drenches her from head to toe. She stares out in empty space, just like she always does in class. She didn't even blink. Oi. Hey, oi. Hey, yo. Over here. Uh, yeah. That'd, that'd be the correct response. There you go. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe she was, uh, interesting. But, uh. This is a little far. I guess put it nicely. <laughs> oh, he turns to look at me as I hold my umbrella over her head. You're going to catch cold, Dyer. You can't just stand on the rain like... <laughs> right. I probably should have noticed. Anyway, we need to get you inside before... Right. There's a gamer right again. Here, just take the umbrella. Aoi Ruto no event kaishu na no? No, okay, just take it. I'm way too chicken shit to share an umbrella with a girl. Instead, I take a folding umbrella out of my book bag. See, I have a bag. Aoi no kokando ageteru baai ja. I said I'm not. I'm helping because you're my friend. Tomodachi. There you go. The big word. Aoi ponders the word for a moment. And finally, she takes the umbrella. Huh. Well, at least you're not about to get wetter, so there's that. But you're probably already pretty soaked. No. Dear God. That's how umbrellas work, genius. Come on, it's not like you've never used an umbrella before. She may have never used an umbrella before. God, she totally has an action. No. 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 You might want to teach her how to close it now. Sometimes that can be confusing. Uh, hi. <clears throat> what up? Etto. Koyu toki wa. Arigato. Yes, that would be a good reply. <laughs> She's learning how to be human. Luru? It's like raising a child. Aoi, machigatta no? No, 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 you're right. I was expecting her to actually thank me, and then again, she apologized to Miyuki for what happened yesterday, so maybe I'm understanding her. I turn back to face her. You're very welcome. Shinichi, tomodachi na no. Tomodachi, issho, kaeru no. I guess that's fair. If you told me a week ago that I'd be walking home with a girl in my class, the infamous oddball Oi, to be exact, I'd have laughed in your face. And yet, here I am, doing exactly that. You know, friends ought to reply to their emails, too, just saying. Mere? I called you, too. Oh. Oi quietly takes her phone out of her pocket. Um, is it gonna work? Didn't it get drenched in the rain? No service. How is that possible? The minus three full bars. I'm standing right next to you. If your phone's broken. Alright. That actually makes sense. How do we get you more battery? Put the text for why God won't answer her calls. It's gotta be broken. You should just buy a new... Can we go down like the local convenience store and just buy some batteries for it? I don't, I don't know what kind of batteries this phone would take. A charger at the very least? Why not? This one have a sentimental value or something? So it calls God. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. And she goes about God again. So who's this God anyway? A friend of yours? God is just God. That's, um, prolific. Very powerful, as most gods are. 
Oh, that's a person who made a way. That sounds like a god thing. I see. Hmm. Is she referring to one of her parents? Somehow I doubt it. I mean, he's openly said multiple times you're friends, so yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I remember just having the same conversation the other day. I would continue to stare blankly out at nothing as she, as the rain pours down. Yuki knew Aoi would be waiting for her after rehearsal. Did they inherently miss each other? I did read that wrong. Inadvertently miss each other. Sorry. Or did Miyuki? Miyuki probably ducked her. Why would she trade with her? Yeah, that would be a nice thing to do. Miyuki to tomodachi naritaino. Look, Miyuki comes off as a fake friend. I'm gonna be real. Miyuki kind of comes off as an asshole. <laughs> I don't so far have a lot of good things to say about her. If only I knew Miyuki's email address, then I could just give it to Oi myself. But I haven't been that close to Miyuki in a long, long time. That'd also be a little rude on your part, giving out someone else's phone number, or email address, without their permission. And at this point, I can never hope to be again. All we can do now is pray to God, I guess. Oh dear, visual novel god. Live around here? Aoi, ie, nai no. Where do you sleep at night? What? Asoko ni netomari na no. She went to the building on the outskirts of the shopping district. It's the city's sole manga cafe. You not get along with your family? So na no. It's not safe to roam the streets alone, you know. Nareta no. So it still doesn't. Pasokon mo game mo aru no. True. Okashi mo taberareru no. Juice, nomi hodai na no. Yoru mo asoberu no. Tengoku na no. It's heaven. Your ideals for heaven are a little petty. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> At a total loss for words. Pasa, arigato na no. Some people would think of heaven as like, you know, just peace. I guess there's peace in there. You know what? This is a perfect heaven. I changed my mind. Your ideals aren't petty at all. Bye bye, Nano. No problem. Take care of yourself, alright? Well, he tires in the manga cafe and vanishes from sight. As for me, I stare absently after her until the powder of the rain drowns out everything around me. Now you got two umbrellas. Twice as dry. After running away from home, Aoi now lives alone in a manga cafe. God might be real, but there's no way that's heaven. Could be heaven for her. It's all about what she wants, right? What's the ideal of heaven, I guess? I don't really know. There's just got to be a happier ending out there for her. Surely God is in the end-all, be-all. You would assume God is the end-all, be-all, though. Just based on the name. Isn't there any way I can help her? Just be your friend? I'd say text her good morning or something, or hey, how's it going, but obviously you can't. Sure is. Miyuki, Aoi no gohan. It has to be like a convenience store lunch, right? What could she be bringing? Candy de stano iro kawaru no. Tongue turned funny colors. That's yeah, some games do that. Miyuki, kono game yaru? Miyuki. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna wait. Miyuki. Proud of you for trying, though. Love that perseverance. Miyuki. I think it's an admirable trait. But, uh, yeah, obviously she's. Doesn't seem like she's gonna want to answer you. Okay. 
thrilled to grab so much. He's got bloody eyes again. And black eyes. Are they might No, they're black. They're black. There's his eyebrows. I was thinking maybe they're clothed. That's his eyebrows. But no, no. So I had black. Nice. Feel sick? Handsome, sir. Yeah. You ate them? Gang! I see. I'm not sure what to know the answer, but who's worthy? This is brother, I think. Brothers? Oh. That's kind of interesting. Find out uh, inadvertently your brother might be into kind of cross dressing. Interesting family dynamic. Finish that sentence. <laughs> you fapped to him. You fapped to his brother's panties. <laughs> yeah, you might be better off dying at this point. I don't know. Pray for something better in the next route. It's gonna be okay, Captain. I know you'll find a new dream soon enough. You now just give yourself some time to grieve. Or nods tearfully. I have no doubt what to do about this. I have no idea what to do about this. I guess I'll just give him a little pat on the shoulder. It's not going to be okay. Your life's over at this point. As I'm heading back from the cafeteria with my sandwich, I contemplate returning to the classroom, but I can't imagine either of us will enjoy sitting there in silence together. Instead, I head to my favorite spot. The roof. Ah, maybe you're always up here. Door's already unlocked. It's perfectly quiet up here on the roof. Not a soul to be seen, and she's probably all by herself. Uh. Just as I thought. Her and I found her always standing quietly up on the roof over the stairs. Her eyes are fixed on something beyond the farthest reaches of the sky. Something formless and imperceptible, and maybe she's not looking at anything at all. It's a bright and sunny day. As I look out at the clear blue autumn sky, I find myself wondering if God might actually answer the phone this time. I'm coming up there, okay? Hey, didn't God try to call in the beginning, but she, like, declined God? Oh. Hm. Crap. Holy crap. It's crazy the difference a few extra meters can make. Up here, I'm greeted with a perfectly unobstructed 360 degree view of the entire town. I want a hell of a view. So, no, no. Oh, it doesn't take rise to the sky for a single moment. Because it's where you come to talk to God. It's a good spot at the apex of a forbidden land. Yeah, I can see why we might feel that way. Did you eat lunch? Mm. No. That's good. Next there is a plastic go bag filled with trash. I feel the faint trace of something cloyingly? Another word. Cloyingly sweet, like cake or jam. You should try to eat better. Matomo? You know, some of the balance of nutrients. Only points to the bag containing my lunch. Take it side, screams calorie laden carbohydrates from the yakisoba sub to the croquets and the curry buns. The thing about my lunch is I've got one of these bad boys. I set a small metal can down in front of her. Yabalis? Yabalis. Hey, aren't you? This way, I get a serving of veggies too. Problem solved. She stares at it like it's a relic from Area 51. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Yep. It's not actually that great. Truth be told, I'm not a big fan of tomato juice. I just maybe actually hit the wrong button on the vending machine. Want to try it? Sure. Now she can have the rest for all I care. Starts to drink. She is gonna drink the rest of it. And drink. And drink. And drink. You down to all one go. No, 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 no. Did you like it? Skinana. Kare. Taiyaki. Melon pan. 
So you level up. It's good. Now you have new interest. I don't really get the comparison, but okay. Glad you liked it. Hmm. Does anybody care about that kind of stuff? Okay, now you're it. You love video games, huh? Stop with that. Stop. I think your opinion does have something to do with it. Right. Miyuki hates the idea of anyone treating reality like a game, but Aoi thinks they're one and the same. It's only natural they never get along, and yet here I am trying to make it happen anyway. Sorry, Aoi. I'm the one who told you to make friends with her, and now it's my fault you get hurt. Oh, tilts her head. Well, it doesn't feel good when Miyuki blows you off every day, right? わかんないの。青い西部データ春の。あ、オッケー。スパイはリセット。攻略までリロード。それだけなの。ね、ね、ノ、アイアグリー、いや。うん、オッケー。でも、メイクセンス。アイアグリー。違うの?え、じゃあ